Hey friends, hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. I'm a mindset coach. Description is the link below if you want to work together. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have courses, um, manifest your specific person, as well as um, my members only channel if you guys are interested. So, so many different ways that we can work together if you wish to. So you guys, I just want to come on here and do a quick video and just remind yourself that everybody is just mirroring or reflecting you. Okay, so that's a reminder of whatever your assumptions are. So if you see somebody in your reality that's not treating you with the way you want to be treated, it's usually coming down to something that's inside of you. Not usually, it always is. It comes down to your assumptions about them as well as assumptions about yourself and what you think you're worth, okay? What you understand to be true in your reality. So like if you're a people pleaser, put people ahead of you, you might start feeling selfish that you want to put your needs first. All right, but it's 100% okay to put your needs first. So if you want, like, let's say an apology for somebody, you can manifest an apology because you're the creator of your reality. The only reason why you're not doing it is because maybe you don't think you're worthy of it. Um, you might have assumptions that your specific person might never do that because they've never done it before. You know, but that's all assumptions, you guys. This whole thing is based on what your assumptions are. The whole world is you pushed out, meaning based on how you think reality works what you think you are in relation to the subject, as well as what your beliefs are at a core level. So that's where I come in. If you wanna do coaching or do courses or do the YouTube, um, any YouTube videos that I have, like we're really gonna to get to that root cause of everything because literally that's what's shaping your reality. It's these subconscious beliefs that we're not always aware of because they seem just so habitual. You know, we're going to worry for this or we're going to worry for that. And that's how we think reality works. Like we can't change it. But you guys, you can change anything because everything you see right now is a circumstance, right? Every circumstance you have, favorable or unfavorable, was created by you. Now, this is not a thing to be like berating yourself and feeling bad about it. This is supposed to make you feel completely empowered, okay? Because if you unconsciously create it, then you can consciously create that. Now, this does take some diligence. I mean, you can manifest very, very easily if you are aware of your thoughts. So you want to be that girl or that guy. You want to be that it person right now that radiates that confidence. What would you be thinking if you were in that relationship? What would you be feeling? Who would you be? Would you be, you know, putting that person ahead of you, understanding your worth, that if you're the creator of your reality, that you can have everything you want? Would you be settling for breadcrumbs? Would you be settling for less than you expect that you should have. Now, that is interesting um, right there because it's that sometimes we don't have the expectations that we can have better. Or maybe somewhere along the lines, like I said earlier in this video, that we feel like we were somewhat selfish to want to take care of ourselves or put our needs first. Or maybe you have this empathetic nature about you that you feel bad and wanna fix things all those like thought processes is what's manifesting your reality okay it's how you see the world how you see yourself in relation to and how you assume to be true about other people so they're mirroring back so therefore let's say you want to be a fixer then you're going to attract different versions of people that need fixing need healing or you're going to feel like you need to do that okay but i'm telling you you can change that maybe you might do that because you might feel like you're worthy of that and that's the only way that you know how to be but we want to start practicing this other thing. We want to practice receiving. We want to practice having our needs met. And to be able to do that, you need to validate yourself first. Validate that your needs are important. Okay, that's where it starts first. Some people have not even set up boundaries. Like I said in previous videos, I didn't even know what that was. I didn't even know it was allowed to do. I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to do it. I thought it was selfish. You know, I thought a whole bunch of things were, which were limiting beliefs because it was based on my perception of how the world worked, my perception of of how I my role as a person okay and that's and then it was like a self-fulfilling prophecy you guys because everybody kept showing up that way all right everybody was just reflecting what I had going on inside my beliefs about myself my beliefs how the world was shaped my beliefs that you know if I did something wrong there I would need to be punished or something from that sorts okay so this is really starts deep from our childhood but that being said, I don't want to sound like this has to be an arduous process because you can also intend for it to be really easy and make leaps and bounds, okay, 
to create a new reality, but it all starts within yourself first, you know, and I did not understand that. I did not understand that really this came down to how I was viewing myself in relation to my deep seated identity. And therefore everybody was just going to mirror that back. So same thing for you. So whatever you're seeing your reality right now that you don't like, go ahead and write it down. How are people treating you? What are your triggers? Write it down. And then you want to flip it into intentions of what you want. I intend for everybody to put me first. I intend for people to meet my needs. I intend that everybody wants to make me a priority. Okay. If that's showing up, if someone's not show, meeting you or if somebody's not treating you like you're a priority, all right, and that's triggering you, then you'd write that down, right? And that's showing up, that's evidence. You're not ignoring it. You're seeing it, talking about how it makes you feel. And then you're going to make intentions from here on out. You know, I am a priority. They always want to make me a priority. I assert my boundaries and they're afraid to not make me a priority because they understand how important I am. That's an example. So I just want to do a quick video here to remind yourself that you're cultivating this inner experience inwardly first. Okay, you're cultivating that. Well, 3D is just reflecting what you're already doing inside because you're already doing this. You're already manifesting. So whatever is not working, you want to take account for that and then start making intentions for what you do want and start seeing results and tending to see results quickly in your reality. All right, you guys, again, um, if you want to sh um, work together, description link below, please give a thumbs up, share, subscribe, like, bell icon. See you in the next video.